Alright, next reaction is how Game of Thrones producer ruined season 8. The king of the nerds! You get the point. Um... You know what? It really be like that. You know, I watched the... You know, I, I watched last time, I think last year, uh, Game of Thrones. Um, season 8 it's, it's, it's terrible. It, it's fucking worse. I mean, how the fuck did that happen right before then? I don't know why. Because it rushed through the whole episode. So you're like, you know what? Let's just, let's just, let's just, like, let's just finish this already, you know. Bam. That's it. And, including The Walking Dead. I remember when Yigi, the one who's responsible for every single goddamn time, because I know a lot of people hate him, because I know that he killed Glenn. Spoilers, my bad. But I'm just saying that I guess that's why nobody else watches, because it's going downhill over Walking Dead. Now, let's fast forward of The Last of Us Part 2. Yes, The Last of Us Part 2. I, I, I mean, I, I watched my brother play, play it. It was fucking terrible. Alright. You're gonna have to blame on Naughty Dog's director or producer or how ever how ever hell they call it from what's his name Neil Dunk Drunkman or whatever he decides that to ruin everyone's life because all the fucking spoilers you know leak videos all that bullshit. That's the problem about Neil that you that cannot be trusted and when it comes to characters and um cuz I know for a fact that um when um a lot of people started to hate on Neil because you know he decided to choose as the villain from you know playing uh what's her name I need to check on that one. Give me a second. Abby? Is that Abby? Oh. Yeah. Abby. Cause um Abby was a was a was a villain and you know he, he had all she had all the weapons and except not Ellie, cause she didn't, she didn't get the chance to grab, get all of the weapon at the same time, and that's bullshit. Like, why the fuck would Neil ruin the 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 Last of Us Part Two if when well, there's nothing else that leaks on the fucking video? You, you the reason that you sent it the the trailers, the official teaser trailer for some happened for a reason, and it's bullshit. Like you ruined, you ruined the Naughty Dogs, and you ruined the Last of Us a good pride, cause the Last of Us Part One it was the best game of all time, but when the Last of Us Part Two, it's the fucking worst, man. I'm telling you. That's why everybody is fucking hate you. And you're delusional. And I just really hope you right now, man. I'm telling you. But, um, enough talk. We're just gonna get to it in 3, 2, 1, go. Hey, 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 what's up? What's up? So, uh, what do we have for the final season? Well, here's what we were thinking for the last six episodes. Six? Well, what do you mean six? Yeah, the final season is six episodes. 
How is the most important season six episodes? How do we fit everything in six episodes? No, it's okay though. Because every episode is an hour and 30 minutes of us cramming everything into those six episodes. Okay, um, what are we doing with the White Walkers and the Night King? It took winter eight seasons to come. It's finally here. What's going on? Night King dies in the final episode. So, um, no, actually, he dies in the second episode. Uh, how? Arya Stark, you know, stabs him. You know, female representation, inclusion, feminism in Hollywood. Well, does the battle at least last for the first two episodes? No, uh, it lasts one episode, about thirty-five minutes. What the? That's Eight bullshit. seasons of yeah. anticipation gone in one episode. Pretty much. But hey, Cersei. What are we doing with Cersei? She dies in a cave that collapses with Jamie by her side. So you're telling me the number one piece of shit who's been an asshat throughout the entire series. From day one, most hated. From day one, a total bitch. From day one, dies in a fucking cave? Yeah. So, so no closure between her and the Starks. Nah. She couldn't suffer a more violent death. You know, arrow to the face, skinned alive, red wedding, part two, um, gutted to death. Mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm just gonna- WHAT THE FUCK IS THIS?! Game of Thrones season- eight. NO! NO! IT'S NOT! THIS IS SHIT! THIS IS HOT GARBAGE! THIS- yeah. THIS IS THE WALKING DEAD! <gasps> Don't say that. THAT'S WHAT IT IS! YOU WALKING DEADED THIS WHOLE SEASON! WALKING DEADED IT! STOP SAYING THAT. Well, that's what you fucking did. You fucked up an important season, just like the fucking Walking Dead fucked up every season after the fourth season. You, you fucked us. You fucking walking, fucking dead at us. This season is trash. It's rushed. It's a disappointment. This final episode better blow my fucking mind. Or fucking Dracars. Fucking. Fuck! Yeah, man. Somehow any other producers or director turn out to be bullshit. Or the writers as well. I don't know. I'm just feel like if I if I would ever make like a better um, you know, a better storyline, a better fight choreography or um, you know, a more of the epic, you know, epic storyline as well, but, uh, yeah, that's how, you know, uh, <laughs> that's how the Game of Thrones of, you know, turn into the Walking Dead, they're dead, I believe, from season 8, but I have to agree <laughs> with him. Like, it's a very disappointment and trash, so I'm sorry. I know, well, Game of Thrones fans out there, you know, are very disappointed. I, I agree with y'all, and, you know, but hopefully that Tegan and Earth will, you know, try this best to, um, come up with a better storyline in this one. Or the last of the last of us part two. Or hell, maybe The Walking Dead. Or something else on the TV show, I just wish. Because you know, the King of the North will try his best to fix everything if I could. There will be no rush. We're gonna make a longer episode, like a long hour, which I believe. But, uh, yeah. I will see y'all in the next reaction video. Oh, I was thinking, comment down below what you think about it, and I'll see y'all in the next reaction video.